Hello, welcome back to Subtech Online, and today we are going to explore some ex powerful Excel functions that can help you analyze your data uh, more efficiently. And um, this is going to be about the count functions that is, count a, count, count a, count blanks, count if, and count ifs. So here we have our supermarket data loaded in Excel. It includes columns, transaction ID, product quantity, price, and discounts. So we'll start with the count function. So the count function is used to count number of cells that contain um, the numbers in a range. So the count function only counts numbers. So if you try to use it to count alphabet or blanks, you can never get um, uh, a result. The result will always be zero. So um, I will use this. This is how the syntax is. That is a count a tab. Then you select your range. I'll select the quantities from the first to the last. Uh, enter. Uh, we shall get 50 transactions. That is from C3 to C52. We shall get uh, 50 transactions because all the quantities of all the 50 transaction IDs are filled in. But uh, if we tried to count the products, this is equal to count and select the product ID field or column. It will give you zero. Why? Because we don't use a count function to count alphabets and uh, blanks. So that is it. Uh, let's go to count A. Uh, count A is a function we use uh, to count non-empty cells in a range. Non-empty cells, what do I mean? That for it, you can use it to count both alphabet and numbers. So, which means if we wanted to count uh, the number of products in the product ID or the product column, I'll do count A. Me, I always call it count alphabet because it counts everything as a string. Either it's a number or it is an alphabet. So, select all the products in the product field. Uh, this is our function, enter, it will give you 50. So for it, it has counted uh, all the products and here it is 50. Still, you can use it to count numbers, uh, count A, uh, which will give you the same result. Why? Because for it, it counts non-empty cells. Every cell, so long as it has a character, full stop, it will give you a result. Uh, let me go to discounts where we have blanks. We see. Uh, so when you do count A again and uh, select uh, the column for discounts, that is, I'll scroll up to the end, shift and enter. So when we count blanks, it will return a 40 because we have uh, 10 blank cells. Now, that is count A. Let's go to count blanks. Obviously, count blanks is direct that this one will always return for you the blank cells in that range. So, this time I'm going to count the discount field, which is equal to uh, count. This is count blanks. Uh, I will select the range again. Uh, scroll up to the bottom, shift select that. So we shall get 10 blank cells. So that's why we have the 40 non-empty non cells and the 10 empty cells. Then now we go to count if. Uh, count if is a function which counts the number of cells that meets a specified um, condition. So if you want to count how many product A do you have in a column product ID, that's column B, that's where we come in and say equals to count if. Now, 
with count if you always have to first select the range you're counting the range you're specifying the id in so i'll select the range for the products shift control down uh, then uh, comma uh, what is our criteria our criteria i want to go with product s so since it is an alphabet or a string you'll always open quotes then we put uh, our criteria that is uh, product a make sure that it is case sensitive and make sure that you have the right spelling then i close that bracket why do we do this because we don't have a reference here i'm going to show you how if you use a reference how it is so when you don't have a reference or you're referencing directly to a cell you directly type in uh, or you had code uh, your criteria so when i enter this it is going to count for me that product a they are 10 so if i check uh, product c they are 10 also um product e do we have e they are 10 then all are 10 uh, let me put product f we have zero because we don't have product f now um that is if you counting a specified um uh, cell or id which means if i put product c and they are 10 and somewhere in my data the c changes to b you'll see that it changes to 9 if i change another c uh, maybe to d it changes to 8 so it counts that specific criteria you have uh, put in now when when we are using a reference let me see uh, if we have uh, this here as a reference and we do count if function then they want the range the range is this uh, comma comma then our reference is uh, product a which is cell uh, j j8 so this time we are not hard coding the value because we have a reference already where the value is so when you enter that it will give you 10 which means if it is dynamic that if you change any cell here it is dynamic it will change so i can uh, scroll or fill in the formula to the next so the b remember we had increased to this i if i increase another b here um to 12 you see it increases so it is dynamic to your data so here you will be counting using a specified um uh, criteria now count ifs count ifs is a function which counts the number of cells that meet uh, multiple criterias uh, criterion so uh, let's find out how many uh, transactions involved uh, product b uh, we are going to find out how many transactions involve product b and they are greater than five so how do we do that so here our criteria uh, I can first delete that. Our criteria we are considering here we want our transactions, our product B, that is our first criterion. Then our next criteria is we want everything that is greater than a five. So those are the two criterions we are going to use. So how do we do that? We shall do equals to count ifs, which is this, select. Now, our first criteria is you can take a, a reference since we already have it here as a reference or if you don't have it as a reference, as I already told you, you go ahead and uh, type in your, let's make sure we keep the case sensitive, um, there we go, then that is our criteria number one um we have to start with criteria range just so our criteria range is this the product uh, field uh, then a comma what is our criteria our criteria we can take this as our range then next uh, 
Uh, what is our criteria range number two? Uh, we are looking out for those that took a quantity greater than five. I will select this up to the bottom. Uh, then comma. Our criteria number two is going to be anything greater than five. So what we do is we put this in quotes greater than five like that close your brackets so we are considering two criterions because this is count ifs we are doing multiple so the moment i enter it means that we have people who ordered five uh greater than five we have five people five people five transactions who ordered more than five quantity and they ordered uh, product b so if we reduce this to three it automatically changes to four because this was eight so if i increase this to five it doesn't change because we are looking at greater than five so uh, that's it guys and um, these functions are incredibly useful uh, for analyzing your your data uh, quickly and efficiently uh, if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to subtech online for more excel tips and tricks if you have any questions or topics you would like to us to cover, please leave them in the comment below. Thanks for watching and meet you again in the next video. Bye-bye.